Hello and welcome to episode 28 of the Keep Tapping X podcast. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> He's not here. He's not here. Now, today uh, is a different episode. Uh, David couldn't make it tonight, so it's just Blake and I. We, we couldn't find a, a replacement in time. Yeah, David actually uh, resigned. Yeah, he's done. Just like uh, Sean Spencer. That fucking asshole. Who's Sean Spencer? Do you not watch the news? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not up to I- date. Did Don't you notice the, over the rock head. over our head? That is my apartment. <laughs> Listen. Don't worry about it. All right. Well. <laughs> I don't watch the news, and I know the news. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It is uh, July 21st, 2017. Uh, and today we got a bunch of news for you today. But before we go into news, let's go into some quick updates. Uh, you probably have already noticed, but most of our social medias now have a new logo, a.k.a. our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch uh, Where'd this logo come from? This new logo was done by our uh, our friend Nicole. Uh, full credit on the on the Facebook. On the who Facebooks. is who is this person? Nicole, she is uh, David's fiance. It doesn't matter because David's not here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but she's been on the podcast a, a couple times in the background, not really saying anything. She she's been in some let's plays and stuff. So uh, yeah, really love the logo and stuff. So it's gonna be great. Uh, we have another one in the works as well, but uh, no promises. Yeah, we're gonna keep that quiet for now. Mm. We don't we don't know the progress. Of Shouts that out. Yet. Shouts out. Yeah, to you. <laughs> But um, anyway, other quick updates. Uh, nothing big uh, other than that. Hope you're ready for some baseball. Oh, yeah. Played very terribly. That's not going to be next week, but. <laughs> yeah, the week after that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready for some baseball eventually. Yeah, this Monday we're continuing Bayonetta. Uh-huh. So, uh, so keep an eye out for that. Anyway, uh, so let's. Uh, how are you, Blake? Um, pretty fucking bummed, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess we'll, just, we'll, we'll get the bumness out of the way now. Whatever that means. Uh, yeah, we'll have a moment of silence for, for Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park for his recent suicide, which is uh, a huge, uh, what's the phrase I'd use? That's respectful, like, I feel like bummer is not, <laughs> I agree. not uh, appropriate. It's just upsetting. It's a upsetting loss. Yeah. Blake that happened sister. way too soon. Yeah. 41, six kids, wife. I didn't know we had six kids. Six kids. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, Shows you that, Uh, I mean, you can have all the money in the world, and that doesn't really mean anything. Yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of contributing factors. Mm. Some will, some we know, some we'll never know. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, moment of silence. All right. <laughs> there it is. I never really know how long those things go yeah. for. <laughs> anyway, sad news. But... Let's go on to other news. Releases. Releases, you say? Yes, in the video game industry. <clears throat> well, July 18th, uh-huh. we had Children of Zodiacs for PC, Mac, and PS4. Isn't that a Pokemon? No. Z- Zodiac? <laughs> no. Who am I thinking of? I don't know. Fall no, Legion. you know what I'm thinking. Hold on. What are you talking about? It's like the st- he didn't like shapeshift. Z- Zorark? Zorark. That was it. <laughs> Yeah, Children of Zorark. <laughs> Go on. We had Fallen Legion for the Vita and PS4. Don't know it. We have Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles for PC, PlayStation 4. Yep. July 20th. Ooh. We had the finally released Dream Daddy. Ah, uh, yep. The actual A release dad of it. Dating Simulator for PC. Yep. Probably be playing that sometime. Also, Lone Echo for PC. And finally, to cap it off, top it off, July 21st, Splatoon 2 for the Switch, mm-hmm. which I hear is pretty good I, like watched, I watched some gameplay before he came over uh, Team 4 Star was streaming it mm-hmm. I'll be honest looks exactly like Splatoon mm-hmm. 1 <laughs> which isn't a bad thing so whatever good on them mm-hmm, mm-hmm. consistency mm-hmm. oh well that, is that it for releases yep alright cool so let's get right into the news news bang well, out alright well Evo happened this past week yeah yeah and uh I didn't, I didn't mention this in my uh, news itinerary, but I just want to mention that uh, the Smash Finals was uh, broadcast on Disney XD, and yeah. I guess the Bayonetta player won. Which is huge. Yeah, and uh, Bayonetta had like some like, has like this like very, I don't know how to describe Provocative. It. Provocative. I was going to say erotic, but that would. I mean, kind of. Yeah. But provocative, I think, is yeah. more appropriate. Pro- provocative uh, victory pose. Yep. And that was just plastered on Disney XD. For people who don't know before we keep talking about this um 
Evo is a, a what fighting game. What does it stand game. for? Oh, fuck. I was thinking about that earlier, and I was like, uh, <laughs> Fact check. I have no idea. E- e- evolution. Evolution. Uh, wait. Evolution. F- video. Oh, it might. Is that right? What I, is it? I, no, I don't know. What does Evo stand for? Uh, it probably stands for nothing. Escape velocity override. Really? No, nah, I don't think that's. <laughs> Hold on. Crap, I don't have YouTube to talk. Uh, um, it's uh, Anyway, Evo is a giant. As I'm looking it up, uh, Evo is a. Oh, it's the Evolution Championship Series. No, that's not it. What <laughs> I was going to say, what the fuck's the That's v? not right at all. No. What the. Where can I find this out? <laughs> is there FAQ. an FAQ. <laughs> e- oh, it's just Evolution. It's just short for oh, Evolution. Okay. So, yeah. So. The Evolution <laughs> 2017, uh, uh, Evil Tournament is a giant fighting game tournament. Uh, consisting of multiple games. Yep, and... consisting of multiple fighting games where uh, players all across the world gather uh, to in Las Vegas for uh, a weekend. Nevada. 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 <laughs> to play fighting games and win you know, the championship and stuff. I don't know, it, there's prize money, obviously, right? But they don't... Hella prize money. Yeah. I In the ones, in the tournaments I watched, nobody ever mentioned the actual like prize like how much it was the fiscal value of the prize i don't think they like, like glorify it yeah just not know, which is cool just get on the dl like five yeah. g's you know what i'm saying a lot of it's for just for the fame yeah so you get sponsors from it and everything but uh you got games like tekken street fighter 5 guilty gear blaze blue injustice smash mm. marvel's tapcom the lights i didn't just read that from the nope. <laughs> website nope so well yeah with uh every evo all the fighting game companies like reveal a bunch of shit. Uh huh. So we got a bunch of Evo related news. Evo news. First, First off, off, wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you watch it, Evo? Fuck no. No? Uh, Why? You're not a. I'm a busy boy. All right. Yeah. I see. Do you watch VODs or are you just like, nah, I'm not interested yeah. in Evo? Yeah. I've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball Z Fighter stuff from Evo. I'll Once tell you that. The, the full game comes out and we know the full roster yeah. and that's like balls deep, in, yeah. then I'll probably check it out. I got that. Are you going to get it? Fuck yeah, I am. Yeah, I am too. And I, I'll, I'll never play it. I know. I look <laughs> yeah. tiny bit off topic. That's the, like, the first time I've ever felt like I want to learn a fighting game. I, I did briefly for Blaze Blue, mm-hmm. but then all my friends got way better at it than me. And then when you, you get... You, you were only, discouraged. Yeah, you, there's only so many times you can get your ass kicked in a mm-hmm. fighting game before you're like, I just can't put the time into it. Sorry, guys. But, um, yeah, I'll put I'll put dozens of hours into Dragon Ball Z if, if I can so learn good. Hercule. He, I mean, there's no doubt he's in. He has to be. They want unorthodox choices, mm-hmm. they said. Um, mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm, we'll mm-hmm. see. So, anyway, on with the Evo. Uh, Jetta. Am mm. I saying his name right? Uh, yeah. I from think. Uh, a major villain from Darkstalkers. Yep. The was announced Capcom at Evo series. for uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Yeah. I put this up because I had no idea who this fool was. No idea. I was like, "Who is this guy?" He's he's interesting looking. I mean, I'll put the picture up now. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a question at you. Uh huh. Who's more recognizable, this guy or Wolverine? Who's Wolverine? I can't seem to remember any of the X Men. <laughs> That's all we have to say for that. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> so well, cool. Oh, well, yeah. I will. You know, I have, I, well, I have more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jet is an awesome addition, right? Like, say this is like a good game coming out, <laughs> right? Uh, like seeing Jetta in it, I bet a lot of people would be like really excited. About, I mean, people are excited about mm-hmm. it, but you know, it would make a good game even better. No, that's all I have to say. Yeah, yeah. It's not underrated. I don't know. Come on. So I'm gonna tack this on. Um, this is just a little bit more uh, infinite news. Yep. But this is from Comic Con. Yeah. But we only have ten stories. I just smushed this in right. Yeah, in that's the fine. News. That's cool. Yeah. So uh, there was also at uh, Comic Con there was a game trade gameplay trailer four, which uh, revealed Spider Man. Yep. Nemesis. Frank, Frank West and Mike Hagar. From, oh yeah, uh, from uh, yeah. Street Fighter. I think no, it's uh, Fatal Frame. It's fatal no, not fatal, fatal, fatal Frame. frame. Fatal. Did you see him in Fatal Frame? <laughs> yeah. Just like Taking snap pictures, a photo and then like <laughs> yeah. Final fight. Final fight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm gonna keep the picture up. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't have another picture of it. Oh, good. Because this is the uh, anybody who's watching on on the YouTube's uh, can see that we have a picture of like what's probably gonna be the full roster of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. 
Uh, this looks like garbage. <laughs> Not the roster. I mean, that's garbage too, but... <laughs> the character select the screen. The layout. The character select screen Disgusting. is the worst. Go back to Marvel vs. Uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. The screen is awesome. It looks like a comic book. Yeah. It looks really cool. The pages of a comic book. They didn't even try with this. This is... And look at that, like, empty square where freaking, uh, what's it, Sigma's gonna be? Zoom in. You're zooming in right uh, now. I'm, on zo- that. I'm zooming. Okay. Zoom, zoom, there zoom. it goes. Wait, wait, wait. It's zoom. All right. Final stop. There it is. I don't know if I can. I'll learn, I guess. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> um, what about it? Look at it. It's just gross. It's so jarring. Yeah. That's gross. That's, oh, that's where Spider-Man goes. Wait, no. Like, you, know, you know what normally Frank goes West. there? A random character. So that. This yeah. is gonna. This I is mean, gonna, this is like the demo. This build. is the demo. I, it's gonna look different, I think, because yeah. they're gonna add like the random thing. But how much different? I wonder. I can see the random one being like in the middle. I, I really hope they put more effort into it. No, they're not. Yeah, I, well, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Stay still. Disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Let's go on. Let's get out of here. So, <laughs> it's infinite loop of bullshit. Arc system works. Hey. They announced Blaze Blue. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. cross tag battle. Yep, coming 2018. It's a crossover tag team fighting game consisting of characters from Blaze Blue, mm-hmm. Atlas's Persona 4 Arena. Crazy. So, uh, if you thought Persona 4 was going away because Persona 5 was <laughs> no nope. is here, nope, nah, never going away. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, French breads under night in birth. What did you call me? <laughs> I guess French bread is bad the, yet. The, <laughs> it's the developer. <laughs> Or a company, whatever. And uh, Rooster Teeth's anime-styled web animation, Ruby. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, I know that Art uh, Art System Works, one of the like, developers, talked about wanting to make a Ruby game. Mm. So I guess this is what kind of came up from that. Um, it looks amazing. Although, why is French Baguette game there and not Guilty Gear? Uh, Another Art System game? I don't know, but... Uh, I guess they only wanted one Art Systems. Uh, oh, well, yeah. So it'd be more like who developed inclusive? Who developed Persona Four Arena? Well, it was Arc System, but uh, yeah, but it's not Whoa. like an Arc System property. I guess. You know? Yeah, uh, it was crazy when I first saw that. I was like, yeah. "Yo, what? A Persona Blaze Blue crossover?" And that guy came in. I'm like, "I don't know this game." And then like Ruby came in. I was like, "Oh shit!" Mm. That's when you know that series. Is do you watch exploded. Ruby? I do. I haven't seen the most recent season, but I've seen one through three. How is it? That's oh, great. It's a great series. Really? Uh, I'll say this: if if you've never seen Ruby, uh, don't quit after the first season because the action is phenomenal in the first season, uh, but the storytelling is very generic, mm-hmm. very like anime e. Um, the characters are nice, but it, it doesn't win any awards in that regard. Mm-hmm. The only reason I kept watching it was because of the action, and then it picks up with the story once they learn how to use their engine better and and everything like that. They they really they really picked it up mm-hmm. from there. Mm-hmm. And great music. I have all the soundtracks except for four. So good shit. But yeah, that's a that's a cool fighting game. I probably won't pick it up. Um, nope. But I'm very curious to see how it plays, and see how Ruby plays. It's gonna be cool. And I wonder if they're gonna add more Ruby characters. I wonder how many characters are gonna represent every series. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't yeah. care. No, you don't, I'm, you don't I'm, I'm multitasking. <laughs> see, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Go on. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. That's cool. People are going nuts about it. Yeah. Also, another new game that no, I didn't get a this. picture for. Oh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, developer Akira, age, um, which is basically it was it's a company formed in 1996 by former Capcom employees. I'm not reading Wikipedia. Okay. So basically, <laughs> they made games such as. Ooh. Um, the developer is called Akira. Tetris, the Grand Master series. Oh boy. Um, the most competitive of fighters. <laughs> T block uh, versus square block. <laughs> they, they they have a they they did a lot of fighting games basically, and they they announced a new <laughs> fighting game for PS4. Yeah. With no title, but it's getting a 2018 simultaneously release in what? North America. What is this? Europe and Japan. Is that an anime it's fighter? Fi- 3D it, fighter? It's like a fighting game. And there's like a skeleton man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, there's like some guy with like gray hair. What is Look wrong up with you? Akira fighting game PS4. <laughs> what is? 
ET series mysterious fighting game trailer. Yeah, they didn't doesn't have it, ha, it doesn't have a title yet. But uh, there's gonna be a limited time playable beta at the end of 2017. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this. Yeah, it's very. Uh, let's uh. See, look at the spooky fight. Uh, skeleton yeah. man. There uh, he is. Looks very like Street Fighter. Yeah. Esque. So. If you're it's like they that. were former Capcom employees or something. Yeah, I mean that looks very Street Fighter Five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. But yeah, that, that's a new game coming out. Swag. Get ha- Swag. Get hype. Hype. hype are you swag. are you hyped for the Skeleton Man? No. Moving on. <laughs> Next question. Also shown. Trunks. Hey. Officially Trunks shown. Joins the fight in a very yeah, Smash, Smash Bros. Yeah. I was like, I saw it. I was like, I saw like the gif of that and I thought like, of just like the, like the logo. I was like, oh, they're like, it's like a Smash Brothers homage by the like that a fan creation, right? Yeah. Nah, it, was, it was in the video. Yeah, I was like, very oh, strange. Okay. Um, it's cool. I, I dig it. Yeah. It's great though. Uh, yeah. His, his set, his uh, move set looks oh. pretty fly. Oh. Looks, you know, just like every other character in that game, looks pretty faithful mm-hmm. to what he does. Uh, the no Buster tag. Cannon though yet, as far as we yeah, know. as we know. I think that's like a fucking uh, that's just, just like a, a Buddha guy. Yeah, Buddha guy. Yeah. <laughs> but no, he never Buster Cannon. Pretty sure he never. <laughs> Yo, but I want it again. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. But yeah, he does burning attack. Um, the heat dome is I think is is like super. <laughs> Yep. Which he kills Cell with uh, in the future. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, man, this game. I'm so mm. hyped. I'm just so hyped mm. for this game. So, that, and I, I've seen more of those uh, oh, yeah. fighter versus those, those like from, from those, Dragon Ball Z. Those memes with yeah. the superimposed. Yo, like, if any, nobody's picture. seen these, or I don't know where you've been, but if you just go online and you'll see a, a million memes of like clips from Dragon Ball Z. Like straight rip from the show instead, uh, but instead people's faces are replaced with the logos for uh, fighting games. Uh, typically, Dragon Ball Z fighters either beating the shit or like just ruining Marvel versus Capcom Infinite, <laughs> and they're hilarious. I love them. That recent one I sent in group chat. Yeah, with uh, Goku, Goku turns Super Saiyan yeah. <laughs> three. It's so great. Uh. So there's gonna be a closed beta. For Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Yes. Uh, registration starting July 26th, which is in five days. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sign up. How do you sign up? For, we don't know yet. We right? don't know. Yeah. It's probably going to be like the Dissidia or it's like a website. I suppose they don't do it already. Like haven't opened it mm. up yet. I don't know. Also, also, uh-huh. they announced there are going to be nine characters in... Nine? The demo beta thing. But there's only one, two, seven. Seven announced. Maybe we'll get to two more later when I get to it. Mmm, that water. Mmm, <laughs> that's warm, still water. Yeah, I know. That has a weird taste to it. Anyway, yep. Has that been there for like two weeks? No, I just got it today at CVS. Oh. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Please sponsor us. Please sponsor CVS. CVS. I would get a CVS chart. But yeah, it's cool. Awesome. I'm hyped. For Dr- Dragon Trump Ball Fighters. the fight. So, oh, also, um, Geese Howard is coming to Tekken 7 via DLC. Yeah, Geese. Uh, he's not from Tekken. He's actually oh. from Fatal Fury. Fatal Frame. Fatal. Maybe that's why I was getting confused. Yeah. <laughs> Fatal. <laughs> that's why I thought Fatal earlier. But yeah, he's from the Fatal Fury series. And the DC- DLC will be available winter 2017. I saw a lot of hype for that. Mm. Um. I don't know anything about. I, I don't play Tekken, yeah. nor do I play Fatal Fury. <laughs> Fury, yes. Yeah. So, but that's cool. People mm. are really excited about it. I'm always happy mm-hmm. to see mm-hmm. people being uh, excited for stuff like that, being happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a weird. It's a weird watching Evo when you're not a big fighting game fan. Just commentators when they use certain phrases. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's interesting to learn though, right? Like I like learning and. You don't have to know the phrases to get hype with everyone mm. else. Like when someone has their Evo moment with the big combat, everyone's like, "Yeah, oh!" Like you just want to like. Oh. I agree. It's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, next in Evo related news, there's gonna be a closed beta for uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy NT yes. that you can sign up for. There will be a link in the description. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Are you gonna sign up? Already did. Or you did? Or you having like some difficulty? I was. For some reason I was having a lot of trouble getting into my Square Enix account. Mm. But I was able to get by it, thankfully. Um and I don't remember how I did it. Literally before you came over, I checked again 
and my computer saved my sign-in credentials, mm -hmm. and I just signed in. Huh. And I was like, I don't think I ever signed into this before. <laughs> that was very strange. Maybe you were I, just were putting the wrong password. But the, like the autofill. <laughs> yeah, the, um, I've had it so like if you go to a website and you just like do the double click and yeah. you can. It does it yeah. just it's not for a specific website. It's just for like a username uh, password I deal. See. Maybe yeah, maybe it did for I don't know. So don't rely on autofill, no. kids. <laughs> don't do it. Just remember your freaking passwords. I have a I mean uh, hopefully don't no one breaks in my house and finds my text file, but I have a text file on my computer with all my passwords and usernames. It's so dangerous. <laughs> not like say that here. I just mean yeah. having that in general. I know. <laughs> You like you don't stream. I could totally see you like having a, like a sticky note up or something, and be like, "Just open oh, it up." <laughs> oh no, my I sister's can't, can't, bank can't. account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the city is looking good, mm -hmm. looking great. If you really love cluttered UI or uh, heads-up displays, HUDs. that's just numbers and maps and pictures and characters and stuff. It's yeah, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna play the shit out of it. So. Mm -hmm. Be 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 prepared for when I talk about that a lot. Be prepared. prepared. So, um, there's going to be an Evo in Japan on January 26th through the 28th. It's not fucking bad enough. They won Evo most of the time. They have to have their own. <laughs> and it's going to include the games Tekken Seven, what? Guilty Gear, Nice, uh, Exerd, 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 Exerd Rev Two. King of Fighters 14, Blaze Blue, nice. uh, CF, Smash so... Wii U, Arms, oh, okay. and Street Fighter 5. I'm very interested to see the Arms at competitive level. <laughs> What's the meta like? Is the, the meta, question? It's all ri <laughs> Ribbon Girl, Slapper, Mitt. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there is one like a Slapper thing. Yeah, it's just like that. Yeah. John the fucking next. <laughs> Don't fucking pity next. me. Piece of shit. Abigail was Who's revealed Abigail? for Street Fighter V, and people are not happy. Oh, what? Why? Uh, well, for, if you look, Abigail looks disgusting. Oh, yeah. I don't know what Abigail originally looks like. Uh, but Not like, as grotesque. Reminds me... I don't even know what that fucking... Kind of Hulk. <laughs> like, Hulk. Kinda. Yeah, kind of. But, like, even grosser? <laughs> If you go to the the um the video on the Street Fighter Five's um YouTube channel, yeah, uh, has a majority of dislikes. So yeah, why do they dislike him because he looks bad? I think so. Interesting. That's a shame. Oh, uh, fighting games fans are never happy unless it's Dragon Ball Z fighters, I guess. Yeah, until the game comes out, um, people are probably gonna rip it. The to... where's the story never mode? Happen. That'll never happen. <laughs> it's true. That game's gonna be super hype. Super. Super hype. Hot. Super hype. I think we make that. I think we make that joke every week. Most likely. That's it for Evo. That's it for Evo. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say overall thoughts on Evo. You didn't watch it. <laughs> Exciting. So ask me. Over th overall thoughts on Evo, Kobe. Uh, it was fun. I watched Blaze Blue, some of Tekken, some of Street Fighter. Uh. All the impromptu Dragon Ball Z fighter stuff they had in like the back. It wasn't like official stuff. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, I watched most of the Blaze Blue one. Blaze Blue. It was fun. It was super cool. Commentators, super hype. Uh, it was just overall a good time. Good time. Cool. Yep. So, also this week yeah. was the D23 Expo Game Showcase. What's that? Well... There's a D23 event every uh -huh. year. What's D23? It's like some Disney event where okay. they announce a bunch of stuff. Okay. For example, there's going to be a live action Aladdin, which we already knew. Yeah. But you know who's Genie? Will Smith. Hell yeah, he is. It's going to be lit. It's going to be uh, Kazam <laughs> I hope he's just all over again. I hope, I hope he's just Will Smith with like a hat <laughs> and like the, the shoes, like the, yeah. the, the red with the, with the top. pointy shoes. It's like. A blue street down his cheek or something. No, blue hair. Blue but hair. He, but he's Will Smith. Man, what? All right, let me hear your thoughts. As Will Smith, as genie. Do you think they should? I mean, I don't. I don't think it's gonna be a real genie. I think he's just gonna voice it. Oh really? Why not just get? 
Homer? Dan Castan. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Castanelli. I don't know. Because I like him as as Genie. I was gonna say as Homer. <laughs> I like him as Genie. Um, I didn't even know it was him. Oh, you didn't know that? No, I mean not. I mean I know now. Oh yeah, yeah. But for, like for the longest time I didn't know. For the I thought it was just Robin Williams. It no. wasn't. They the had third a movie. Really? It's Robin Williams. Oh. Yeah. The first one, Robin Williams had a fallout for so for the series i don't know if for the series they had dan they didn't have robin williams the reason why they had a falling out with robin williams was because robin williams didn't want his name to be the head of promotion for the movie mm. um but they did it anyway like because the genie was like the big yeah. appeal of it so he was like nah i'm done um second movie return of jafar they got dan desanelli and then for uh aladdin the 40 thieves they brought Robin Williams back, which That's is like cool. a big deal in their marketing. He's like, and Robin Williams is back. And he was probably Side not happy over. about that, but and he was really funny in it. That's all that matters. Hmm. But um, I don't know, man. They better be like animated. I mean, with Beast, they animated him. They didn't use a, a real Beast in the Beauty and the Beast re- uh Very true. Remake. So, I, well, if <laughs> what if it's like a like kind of like that deal? I hope it's like dead ass Will Smith's face. On like a genie body. Well, you mean like Georgia Lopez in Shark Boy and Lava Girl? <laughs> no, no, like it's blue, but it's you can clearly tell it's Will Smith. I swear, I swear they're gonna make like, is it because I'm blue? Joke. Can no you doubt. Tell me, yeah, tell me you no cannot doubt. see Will Smith making that joke. Well, because I'm blue. Yeah. <laughs> Confirmed. Uh, Lock it in, man. I don't, I don't know about this. Are you gonna see it? Yeah, of course I'm gonna see it. <laughs> How is Will Smith gonna sing "Friend Like Me"? I'm sorry, he's gonna rap it, and it's gonna be really bad. Why are you jumping to conclusions? No, you're right. Maybe I'm being too negative. How do you go from Robin Williams or even Dan to Man. Will Smith? Come on, Will Smith is an icon for other media's. Maybe. Listen, has he been in anything Disney? I don't think so. Like, like you know. Exclusive Disney, not Maybe. like an off product of Disney. Hold on, fact check, fact check. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm probably uh. just, I'm probably just gonna get, like, I'm looking at Will Smith Disney, <laughs> and I'm probably just gonna get him as genie. <laughs> oh, he's on a Disney wiki. What the hell is that? Oh. Will Smith with Magica de Spell on the cover of Disney Adventure. Oh, oh, that's the the villain from you know the the witch villain from Dut Tales. Uh, yeah. He's just on a cover of Disney Adventures with her, and it's not even like a cartoon. <laughs> it's, just Will Smith. it's just, it's just Fresh Prince Will Smith. Was he an? He appeared Disney? in Jersey Girl. I. <laughs> yeah. And he is to portray the genie in the live action. Yeah. He is mentioned in the Jonas L.A. episode. Wrong song. <laughs> What yeah. is Jonas L.A.? I assume a Jonas Brothers uh, spin Rip-off off. parody. Yeah. Uh, yeah, starring the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. Good. I assume a Camp Rock uh, spinoff or something. Not that I watched that. Yeah, what the? Nothing. Man, I don't know about this. Give it a chance. You don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> oh, I'm hyped. Yes, it'll be, it'll be fun. So, whatever. Did they really or say the other worst. Um, the, all right. So people were all right. So a report came out that Disney was having trouble finding like someone to play Aladdin. A, a lot of people were saying the guy from My Carly, Victorious. Right? Oh, Victorious. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And like people were like photoshopping him on like a genie. And like wow, I mean genie Aladdin's head, like body, and like <laughs> it was like dead ass. And yeah, like he, he can sing because he's yeah. Fucking, he would make a good choice. Victorious. When I when I heard that, I was yeah. like, I looked, I saw a picture. I was like, yeah, that worked. He's got yeah. like the shaggy look yep. going on. Hmm? You have to tan up a little bit. To, yeah. Also, got a white wash in this movie. <laughs> it's all Middle Eastern, so I wonder yeah. how they get around that. So uh, instead, they got some other guy. Oh yeah. Oh what the. Look it up. Yeah, okay. Look up. Uh, I, I don't want to spend this whole podcast I know, looking just up. Just fucking Google shit. It. Uh, Aladdin. Aladdin live cast. action cast. Yeah. It was like some, I don't know, some, oh, I some Aladdin. guy. Whoops. Robin Williams. For that. <laughs> some guy. Yeah, that's really sad. Oh, happy birthday, Robin Williams. Shouts out. He's my icon. I love him. One love. Is... Who are you? I think Naomi he's in the middle. Scott as Jasmine. Just click on it. He'll probably have Will Smith cast pictures. Yeah, there he is. There's Ooh. Aladdin. What the hell? 
I mean, we don't know. Where's Jasmine? Like the actress looked like she's in her like late twenties. Uh, is that Oprah? What? Oh no. Uh, <laughs> nah, no. You sure? Yeah, I don't think so. Click on it. I don't know. That might be like. I think that's Oprah. Uh, it could be Oprah. What? A Wrinkle in Time. Is Oprah in it? Give me a second. Control here. F reading. Oprah. I'm reading. Control F Oprah. Yeah, it's Oprah. <laughs> Lit. And Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> and anyway, um, uh, Guy Ritchie is previously announced as the director. Who? Guy Ritchie. Guy Fieri? N- not Guy Fieri. <laughs> Guy Ritchie. Who? Guy, Guy, hold on. Name one film he Aladdin. directed. <laughs> Besides Aladdin. Oh, the Sherlock Holmes movies with... Oh. Uh, Waiting for the Robert third Downey Jr. Yeah, it's, Which there's still going to be a third one eventually. Yeah. I hear. Yeah, it says here, rumored announced yeah. on IMDb. So that's cool. Sorry. That's cool. I'm caught up in that. Um. So, you know. A bunch of other stuff. Fred Disney like related. Me. Prince Ali. Announced. Yeah. Ali B. Ali uh, Bob Wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to link in the description. Yeah. Uh, the Hey Arnold song. <laughs> Video games. Video games. So, at e- at D23, they had a Expo Game Showcase. Let's I should have just said Game Showcase. Let's get to the big news. So, Lenovo, Len- Lenovo, Lenovo, and Disney have teamed up to develop their own proprietary. Pri- 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 Did I say that right, Ryan? Proprietary. Yeah. yeah. Now take a breath. Headset for augmented reality. There they are. Look at that. Boop. Boom. Colors. So, other announcements. Well, that, look at it. Let's talk it's about that It's related for a to that, though. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. okay go. Um, Hollow Chest, a.k.a. Hollow Chest. Oh, you need some pronunciation help? It's Star Wars related. Ooh. Read it. <clears throat> Underlined it. Hollow Chest. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dejeric? I actually never heard of this. I know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hollow Chest. From, the game uh, scene played four. on board the Millennium Falcon by Chewbacca and C-3PO in Star Wars Episode Four will be recreated for the AR headset. That's awesome. I really enjoy and that. augmented reality. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. awesome. We haven't seen a lot of like AR stuff. Waiting um, for Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, man. That's a gold mine way to happen. Dude, get a dual, like yeah. sell your own dual disc Dead peripheral. Ass, dual disc. Special cards because you have to buy the special decks yeah. and the special chips <laughs> in the cards. <laughs> Fucking throw that out, dude! I'm so I'm sold. Yeah, I'm fucking in. And then they're like pendulum summon. I'm like, oh, mm. <laughs> oh no, no, they would. No, they'd start. They'd go OG. Yeah, it would just be too complicated. You could get fucking render. feral imp and shit. Listen, if I don't put my horn of the fucking unicorn on my feral imp, it's not like you could get like any card. It'd be like starter decks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that yeah. they release specific decks yeah. for it. It's not like they, they wouldn't yeah. re-release every card for it. No, definitely. Not. Yeah, there's expensive. so many fucking cards. Yeah. But um, I'd be down. Yeah, dude. I'm waiting. I'd um, buy a fucking AR or that, whatever. That hollow chest is a good idea too. Yeah, that's a that's, that's a cool. Great. Like, can you imagine like being the original audience? Mm. Of, like, like could you even imagine living in the '70s, right, when Star Wars came out, and then, uh, seeing that you see that and you're like, wow, that's so great. So like, futuristic. Ever like comprehend that in your lifetime you would be able to play that? Right. Too bad you have to you know you have to wear like a giant fucking headset. You gotta but, pay some big bills. You yeah. Know? I think it's gonna be like two hundred for that. Oh, that's not bad at yeah. all. That's really cheap. Because it, like it works with your smartphone, I think. Oh, mm. Mm. I don't right, see how that works. Yeah. Some PS One graphics. In front of me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. <no. laughs> it looks like the fucking uh, you know, like cloud looks. Yeah, in Final Fantasy yeah. Seven, they're like the <laughs> giant plenty polygons. Yeah. yeah. Disgusting. Also, Timeless. Star Wars Jedi challenges. Oh, was announced. Jedi Not, challenge. It was literally like a twenty nine second teaser. I, I assume there's gonna be a big old if you if you if you look at the picture and the teaser trailer, um there's like some big old like one third of a fucking lightsaber that you hold. And I, and oh, that's a full in, lightsaber she's holding. I mean there's no I don't <laughs> think she'll there, I don't think she'll press a button and a fucking beam will come out. What do you mean? 
<laughs> if anyone has perfected the technology, fucking, like Disney a lightsaber. Has. <laughs> no, no, get out of here. Uh, um, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna use the quote here. Awaken your inner Jedi with a new app enabled augmented reality experience. I'm not gonna believe a two hundred dollar headset's gonna make me feel like a Jedi. You know, maybe feel like a Jedi? An what? eight hundred dollar headset called the HTC Vive, uh-huh. which I played at a friend's house. Yeah. And I played as a ninja with like basically a lightsaber uh-huh. and force powers. And Lit. I think I've talked about this on the podcast before. Best Probably. experience ever. Fucking phenomenal. Mm-hmm. That's Jedi. Yeah. This I don't know. That's cool. Star Wars, I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> the trumpet guy died. Ugh. Also, um, they had a behind the scenes video on a Spider Man game. Oh, cool. It looks good. Oh, I didn't know we had a pick. Who, who is negative that? Man, that's Negative Man. Excuse me? Is that like his, uh, his like photography villain? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a, I saw that was a delayed reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. He's like, I will stop development of your photos. <laughs> no, Parker. So it is Peter oh, Parker. No. It's oh. not Miles. Miles hmm. is in the game though. Interesting. Remember when? Uh, I know. Remember when last week you gave me shit? I did, <laughs> because he was he's at the end of the E3 uh, presentation yeah. trailer thing. Taking pips. But I guess he's like just gonna be like Peter's friend. Maybe at the end of the game, you yeah. Know, like, you know, give him Sequel. the mantle. Yeah. Yeah. Here. You know. Here. Go in the chamber with this spider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Peter bites him. <laughs> maybe. But cool. yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Uh-huh. Um, also announced oh. at the uh, uh, D23 Expo showcase was a Marvel VR game. Oh. It's called Marvel Powers United VR, and it's an Oculus exclusive. Ooh, Oculus exclusive. Did you see the trailer? No, I have. I didn't even know this thing. So it, that it, was um, basically the trailer shows like some way like it uses like those like motion things. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they work well. And like, uh, At least on the basically, vibe. like it showed some girl becoming the Hulk and another girl becoming Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel, I should say, and then another person becoming Rocket Raccoon. And when you're Rocket Raccoon, you can see his like fucking nose. Oh, what's the gameplay? It's like first person. You're at you are them. Stupid. It does. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> It looks. Stupid. Is that the big square Enix? <laughs> yeah, uh, Avengers. <laughs> um, interesting how that's like Oculus, even though they announced their own head, yeah. their AR headset. So, but this is VR, yeah. so it's different. Yeah, it is. Dumbass. <laughs> Let's not get on this. It's only me and you right now, Blake. <laughs> we cannot become enemies. Boss here. David. Yo 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 yo. Oh, right. thanks, David. Thanks, David. We should have like a soundbite for him. But yeah, we should. Have... <laughs> I'll record that. Right. That's sweet. Got it. Um, <laughs> so, this is all all, all peas and um, potatoes. You know? Yeah. Let's get to the meat, the shall steak? we? The oh, steak? The ham dinner. I don't like ham that much, I'll be the honest. Turkey? You don't like Can turkey? we just go steak? I like steak. Steak's all right. I, I, Compared to ham, it's the fucking... The T-bone the steak. Mmm. The ribeye. No, no. This is the baby back ribs. Oh. Not even baby back. Full rack ribs oh! of, of D23 right here. Oh! <laughs> go ahead. Lay it on me. Thin, so, I'm I want thick sauce. Transition. I want thick on the sauce. Let's go. So, they announced some Kingdom Hearts megaton. Oh, 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 oh. So, I'm going to just transition into this. I'm going to include the stuff from D23 and then a bunch of other fucking shit right, from Kingdom Hearts. All right. Both through it. So, Tetsuya Nomura was on stage He's like, along with these like YouTube people that yeah, I don't watch. Jet, wasn't Jet Scepter guy? Yeah, right. green hair guy. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, that's I was him. like, I don't watch this guy. Um, and uh, so Tetsuya Nomura was like, "Oh yo, Kingdom Hearts." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just cut that. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> so yeah, translator, blah blah blah. So basically, he was like, "Oh yeah, watch this trailer," and it it's it shows you. Um, it's like first like twenty seconds is like from the Hercules world. Yeah, it's like, it shows this like big yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. The song's so good. They did play Dista- yeah, Dista- yeah. Dista- And uh, you saw this like big boss and more like Hercules footage and had this like text overlay and it was the most fucking Nomura trailer shit. Ever. Oh yeah, I was really hoping like when I first saw the trailer online. Yeah, I was like, this better not be some shitty watermark yeah. that, like <laughs> Square Enix put on. This looks horrible. Yeah. Also, shout out to Ratchet and Clank. Uh. Kingdom Hearts 
Uh, that that stole from Kingdom Hearts three with their grind rally. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I think it's more like slow motion shit. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm kidding. Ratchet and Clank fuck came you. out like ten years ago. Fucking go fuck yourself. <laughs> Action Wall, what about Sonic Adventure? Fuck. Uh, that that's Dreamcast, so yeah. it came out. Rolling go fuck around. yourself. Go fuck yourself. Did that have grind rally? Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Rolling around. Go fuck yourself. The... Anyways. Oh, so that Sonic confirmed for Kingdom Hearts three. Yes. That's no good. Yo. Green Hill Zone. Yeah. <laughs> Zemnis is gonna fucking murder Tails. Cursed fool. <laughs> With Eggman? Eggman's heartless. Oh my god. Good. Yeah, I'd be hype. Yep. Nah, it'd be really bad. Anyways, so. After the, the little, like, little, like, it's like, oh, dive into the world, blah, 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 like yeah. a text. What do you see? Andy's room. Andy's Toy room. Toy Story confirmed. Yeah, so good. All right, we're going to wind it back to my E3 prediction. I know. Toy good. Story World 2018 release date. I was a month off. God damn it. I know. you were. I also said Riku would be shown, but he wasn't in this trailer. Yeah, we haven't seen Riku in a while. <laughs> Gulp. Oh, um, I want to see his new clothes. But anyways. He's not in the game. <laughs> bro. Toy Story World announced. Mm-hmm. Shown. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wait. Thoughts. Oh, okay. Uh, it looks... Uh, it is... Like, unparalleled to the show. Like it, It's uncanny how amazing the setting and characters look. Just spot... Like, you would think this is canon <laughs> to Toy Story with the animation, like presented in that trailer it's it looks incredible all i'm saying is they better get tom hanks and tim allen there's, there's no way this, yeah. there's no way they did tom james hanks. woods there's what? no way they get tom hanks i think tim allen will be like oh, you, think, you think tim, they have a better chance than <laughs> what tim, the fuck allen? Is tim allen doing? exactly he doesn't care about nothing anymore <laughs> yeah oh uh, paycheck uh, yeah, maybe <laughs> to infinity <laughs> I don't man. Who, I'm who be honest. I was disappointed. Um, they didn't sound like like it was didn't just sound like a Japanese. Oh Tom yeah, Hanks like like, uh, like James Woods. Yeah, yeah. The Hades and yeah. <laughs> well, well, you think they got James <laughs> Woods to learn Japanese <laughs> in the studio? He's too busy being a fucking prick. But anyways, um, James oh, he, Woods. Yeah, he's a real asshole. Is he? Yeah. Good for him. <laughs> the Hades rules. <laughs> He's like, fuck the gays. But anyways. Oh, uh, my. Re- oh, yeah. Anyway, he's, he's ready to Feel the heat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah. Fucking looks amazing. And at the end, 2018. I know. 2018. I was like, I'm uh, not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to feel anything yet. Until you see a month. Yeah. Until I see a month. And you know, you know what? Not even. I, I'll feel a little something then. I'll be like, <gasps> but I'm not getting my hopes up. Mm-hmm. It's on that day. Like it could be. 11.59 before the release day. The midnight release. And I'm going to be like, delayed. It's going to be delayed. It's going to be fucking delayed. Until I have it the, in the my hands. The copies are in the store. You yeah. see them through the uh-huh. window glass. Oh, I got delayed. And then the Square Enix just like <laughs> takes them all. Because <laughs> tight. Fuck you. Um, you don't think it's going to make 2018? No, I, I'm confident it will. No I just want to get my hopes up. I have no doubt. Yeah, really. I mean, I don't know. Ten years for uh, for uh, fifteen. Sound, you just sound like the casual Kingdom Hearts fan that played the first game. Oh, I haven't made a game in ten years. What do you mean? That's a viable fact. That Final Fantasy fifteen took oh, ten years I, I'm, to make. No, I'm talking about. Yeah, don't get on my I case. Th- I'm, I'm talking Dude, about. Dude, like, came out like gap, three years the ago. The gap or something. between Kingdom Hearts oh. two and three. Oh no. It was like five games. Listen, even casuals know there's been like a million games between. Oh, they should. They You'd should be surprised. But I'm going to rewind it back. Can we Again? talk about how Sora, Donald, and Goofy look? I know, yeah. yeah. The, the fucking toys. It looks good. Yeah. You are uh, a toy! Um, also, I kinda... guess Goofy and Donald have new outfits. Have no what? New outfits. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not totally, totally sold on their toy forms yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe just you know it's gonna get more polished as it goes on, but that's like the base look. I, I get what look they were look like going for. Mm-hmm. Um, they uh, it reminds me of Tron a bit. Do you think Andy is in his weeb phase? I don't think they're gonna show Sora Andy. Sora action figure. Oh, 
<laughs> like yeah like <laughs> find anime like <laughs> suddenly next to woody's gonna be this like half naked anime <laughs> chick figure and he's gonna be like someone there's a snake in my boat <laughs> like, a little boat peeped and go fucking home <laughs> and it looks like he has cat ears who was uh, Sora? Sora, because of uh, how his hair oh, just looks. That one. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, when oh, you see I him like see it, yeah. face up, he's like, like face yeah, up. yeah. Basically. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm not. I like it. Yeah, there's nothing I don't like about it, but I wasn't like, oh, that's awesome, right? I like, that was awesome. Yeah, that's David. Fine. What do you think? Subjective. Yo, 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 yo. He thinks it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go to the next picture. Look how fucking good Woody looks. Yeah, seriously. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Li- while you look at this picture, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this fact. Uh-huh. This is a fact. Okay. So, Toy Story World and Kingdom Hearts Three takes place sometime after Toy Story Two. Okay. It isn't a parallel world. The events of Kingdom Hearts Three are part of the Toy Story time axis. It's canon. I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I talked to the other like I talked to quite a few weeks ago with like, the Beauty and the Beast thing. Mm-hmm. How fans are already like with anything. The internet is always trying to find canonical ties between stuff that does not exist. No, this is from No More. I know. Yeah. What I'm saying yeah. is this does not help. No. Nope. How? You do oh I forgot the part in Toy Story Three when Woody <laughs> and Buzz combined into a hammer and like a gun and listen, shit. Listen, listen. There, there, I saw a fucking tweet where it was like, <laughs> it, it, fast forward to King, uh, Toy Story three, and like Woody's like, listen, Lotso, I seen a lot of shit. I saw, I saw a fucking toy killing some other toys. I'm gonna take your ass down. It was so funny. I uh, yeah, Lotso what do you shit. think? I think it's interesting. I mean, I think I th- I like how they're not trying to recreate the story. Oh, I agree. That's very I, good. I, I think it's cool that there's an original story. And I'm all up for that. I'm 100% up for that. And Nomura worked very closely with Pixar to get its we, approval on the new story for the game. You can tell he works with them on everything. Just look how they look, yeah. man. And, like, I guess, like, he, there was a lot of, like, drafts. And, like, it took a long time to get uh, the story approved. Do you think, so, it's, like, do you think Sid exactly will make a cameo from, we beat the shit out of him? It's the final boss. His heartless. Sid's yeah. heartless. <laughs> just, and then Sora's like, you think that spider guy is gonna be in it? No. What? You think that spider guy? Oh, the spider toy yeah. thing with the baby head. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we don't. One, one do can that. only hope. I, yeah, I'm not. I, my opinion. Mm. It's canon. Come on, guys. <laughs> I like it, but I'm gonna reserve absolute judgment until well, I play. Like it doesn't matter. Like the story can be amazing. Mm. Oh, I think they're it's cool like idea. blowing shit up. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, they are. They're a heart, heartless <laughs> arcane into Toy Story. Yep. <laughs> that doesn't hey, trick anybody hey, as Pixar dumb. could have been like, this is this is just a little. So is Toy Story Four side. gonna be like heartless? Are gonna like show up? I fucking hope so. But <laughs> like, you know that little girl that like yeah. has them now. She just gets like fucking consumed by the world is destroyed by yeah. darkness and yeah, I'd be lit. <laughs> Is <laughs> what? the Randy what? Newman? <laughs> we'll go soon. <laughs> and she's like being brought up to the ball of darkness. Whoa. When you walk away, <laughs> you don't hear me say, "Please." <sighs> it's dumb, bro. <laughs> so, no more. Wanted Toy Story World and Kingdom Hearts. Since around King March 2. Yep. You which, can check uh, in the data files. Yeah, there's a uh, summon data. Yep. There's like the models, like incomplete models from or Woody and Buzz. Mm-hmm. So obviously this has been like a work in progress. Buzz... But this is for Final Mix because when King March 2 came out, Pixar wasn't a Disney yeah. property yet. Buzz, uh. Yeah. B- Buzz talks in the trailer, right? Yeah. He has like two lines or something. Yeah. But Woody does most of the talking. Yeah. He's trying on the back, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So it is Rex. He talks. Oh, that's right. I Everyone talks. Look at his voice actor. Obviously not. I, n- I know the pig. Oh, died. not the pig. Ham uh, died. Yeah, Ham died. Uh, didn't uh, didn't he also voice Scruffy? Oh. The janitor? No, <laughs> <laughs> like the, the dog. Like the swingy dog. Scruffy gonna die the way he lives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shout out to Futurama. <laughs> so yeah, uh, for Kingdom Hearts three, there was there have been 
repeated negotiations for its in- inclusion as it was an absolute necessity. I, like um, Kingdom Hearts 3 was not going to be made unless Toy Story 3 was in it. I mean, Toy Story was in it. Whatever. <laughs> you know what um, I'm saying. Yeah, Lotso is heartless. <laughs> uh, so, like... <laughs> If you go, I think if you go back quite a few episodes, which I've said that like the three times now, I was like very like eh about having Toy Story as a world. Mm. Are you um, sold? Yeah, I'm pretty sold. Dead ass. Uh, not completely until I play it. Obviously, yeah, yeah. you know, at the very end they could just listen. Listen, if Zerg isn't like the final boss of this world, I'm gonna I'm gonna be slightly disappointed. There's no doubt because they went to like Galaxy Toys, and you know, like Wait, Zerg this takes looking place motherfuckers, after two, right? Yeah. Oh, we might see like Jesse and Bullseye. Is the prospector gonna be the villain? Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! That fucking asshole! Oh man! You know yeah. one of my favorite scenes. Sorry, I'm gonna yeah, get no, off no. topic. From Toy Story Two was the scene, and I'm being dead dead ass. Here. Dead ass. Um, was the scene where Woody's out broken Hayden. and his his arm falls off. Yep, that was great. No, um, and he gets repaired by the dude. Uh, you know, they like, bring in yeah. like, the, the toy specialist. And I love that scene mm. of like just the animation behind of him, like, like cleaning zoom in on his face. And, like, like the, painting the over his boot. Looking, and, yeah, and like the fish showing his looking. arm. Yeah. yeah, that was an. I love that scene. Mm. I don't know why. It was just so intricate and like, ah, it was Then he painted over Andy. Yeah. That motherfucker. And, and they just scratch it off. I'm like, what kind of cheap ass paint did yeah. you <laughs> motherfucker you get your money back, dude? Fucking nail polish. Who voiced was it Newman who voiced the villain? <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so I, I really so. want to rewatch he that looks movie. Like now. Newman. I think check. Another Google fact check. <laughs> I'll I'll list off some more uh for some more King Hearts news. So uh the Toy Story staff were considerably surprised at the reproduction quality of the Toy Story characters in game, which I, I absolutely believe. Cause fucking, uh huh, they look incredible, incredible. I must say the fucking like if you look in the trailer, Wayne Knight. Yes, yes. Newman. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Newman. <laughs> Newman. Great. Uh, it doesn't matter with the cheese puffs. For like for like a two second period when you said Newman, I thought Tim Allen and Jerry Seinfeld were the same person. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! But I was like, wait. <laughs> well, what's the deal? <laughs> What space <laughs> and beyond? You are a toy. <laughs> that'd be that's Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Tom Holland plays <laughs> Woody. Hey guys. <nice. laughs> so if you look at the fucking scope of the worlds, like, like they're on the roof of Andy's house, and like they just dive bomb. Off, yeah, off, like straight off, off the roof, and off it goes into like that flow motion yeah. uh, mode real briefly. Oh um, my god! And uh, they're just like they're battling heartless on Andy's front lawn. Yeah, that's such a Kingdom Hearts thing. I love it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that I is that, that's true. That is a very Kingdom Hearts thing. Also, why it shouldn't be Kim. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Dun, 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 so good, so good. Um, yeah, yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Uh, also. Well, uh, you might mention this, so I'll wait. Oh, you're right. All yeah. Right. <laughs> um, so depending on the world, it's going to be possible to fight up with four there or more people exactly with what I was gonna say. characters. Super and, cool. And you can do like, uh, Although, like game up attacks. With stuff. Um, I wonder, you wonder. Are, are Buzz and Woody going to actively fight? Because if you notice, they're you know they're in like a sub. You can see them in the cut in the background fighting. Are, are they fighting? Oh, okay, I didn't you know can if see they were fucking Woody's fucking floppy ass arms. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Yo, he's Woody. Woody's roundup. <laughs> did it? Did it? Um. Okay, that's cool. I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't see that. Uh, because I didn't know if they were just gonna be like special characters for those. Kind of like uh, Hercules numbers. in the yes, in the yeah, fight, but like a Pete. little more in depth to see. Yeah, I just have health bars, so yeah. kind of discounts what I yeah. said. Never mind. Just one big escort mission. That'd be the worst. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that that's all the stuff from uh, the actual trailer. But no more. I did a bunch of fucking interviews. I read like ten inter- different interviews. So yeah, a bunch he did of a information. lot. Mm-hmm. <gasps> so, uh, the worlds in Kingdom Hearts. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, uh, I need your opinion. The the worlds in Kingdom Hearts three have a quote unquote different flow, so you won't be visiting the worlds multiple times, a la Kingdom Hearts two. Depends on the number of worlds, because this well, could be a very short game. Yeah, we ten years to develop this game. There's six worlds. Can you imagine how shorter Kingdom Hearts Two would be if you didn't go it everywhere twice? I agree. But that being said, 
I think the I'll worlds are going to be, well, the, um, what do you call it? But the worlds are going to be, like, vastly bigger I, in both vertically and just, like, scope. I'm very, uh, I'm okay with this. Yeah. I'm very okay with this for the fact that, uh, I've said this before, Disney worlds and Kingdom Hearts games are not portrayed well, story-wise, dialogue-wise, or, like, character-wise. It's mm-hmm. all very forced to fit in these three foreign characters. Yeah, I agree. They're trying to retell a story that in also, a very and poor also way. tell a different story. Yeah, and tell a different story, On right? Top of it. it's weird. All fitting heartless in. Yeah. You know what I mean? This threat. <laughs> uh, it's always downstale. Like Mulan World. I, I, I love the Land I love of Land of Dragons. But like uh Shang or um the Huns fucking bursting <laughs> out of the fuck he was like Charge and it's like two rows of, of birds <laughs> or you know <laughs> the, the, the fucking, Yeah, those It was horrible. Also <laughs> troubled by the fact there was no music. That was yeah. weird. Anyway. Horribly done scene to otherwise one of the most iconic scenes from that movie. Great movie. But um, mm. with this, this new like initiative for these Disney worlds, as long as they put enough care into them, I don't care if I don't have to, like, if I don't go back. As long as I'm satisfied that first time. Right? I agree. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'll have to play it. I, I mean, I can't, I can't like say like, this is the best idea in the world until like it's in my hands and like mm-hmm. I beat Hercules world and like I had enough. Yeah, yeah. I- I'm sure you'll go back to Hercules World for tournaments. That's yeah. the, the exception to the rule. I don't think they would not. I, I like how there was like more stuff to do, you know? Like Where, the multiple yeah. visits in Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. But if you note that like one out of two times the stories are kind of like not. They don't. They never really connected well. I feel you. I, I think I agree. I love going back yeah. to them. Because there were some worlds I just wanted to explore more, mm-hmm. but um, again, if they're bigger, like if they're bigger, the scope's bigger, and you can tell a complete story from beginning to end that's really good. Yep. I won't feel a need to have to go back hmm. unless I just want to experience that again. You know. So. I see what you're saying. I'm gonna reserve judgment, but I'm on the fence. That's fair. At the moment. I'm that's on fair. the fence at the moment. Um, Twilight Town, which we already know is returning. Yep. It will have gameplay tutorials, so it's gonna be one of the earlier stages. All like right. one of the earlier worlds. Okay. Really? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how that's going to work, story-wise. I just wake up as Roxas for another seven days. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> That'll be interesting. I wonder where how they'll, they'll fit into the puzzle. I wonder how they're going to change Twilight Town. Right, like the layout yeah. of, the, of the city, if they do. Probably not much. You don't think so? They did with, like, tra- uh, I said Traverse Town, didn't I, before? No. Did, uh, did I say Twilight Town? You did. Okay. Did you mean they, Traverse Town? No, no, because I'm about to say it now. They did change Traverse Town for the flow motion, you know, for they did. distance uh, drastically. Because, like, you had to have more area to run around. And I want around. to explore. I want Destiny Islands to be a world. I think it will. And not, like, their island, yeah, but, yeah. like, the mainland, too. I think it will. Where you meet Sora's mom. And she's like, dinner? Sora? <laughs> I've had dinner for, like, over it's a year. <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking insane. Yeah. Her nails are all grown out like scratch marks all over. Dad's dead. Dad, dad's dead. Uh, <laughs> if he ever lived to be done with. He didn't. Disney. Ha. But yeah, Um, I think we'll. Also, Kingdom Hearts 3 will wrap up all the mysteries and questions yeah. from the quote-unquote Dark Seeker Sar- Saga. Dark Seeker Saga. Dark Seeker Saga. No more his words, not mine. Is that what the, the saga we're in now? <laughs> I guess. Is that like sort of story? Like the Xehanort bullshit. That's a weird... Uh, yeah, I know. It's like a fucking esoteric. anime arc. <laughs> Are you looking for the 20? Huh? Looking for what? The 20? That's what I meant. Oh. Well, yeah. $20 boo? <laughs> no. Um. Oh, we have a name for the saga. Yeah. Can you imagine playing a different Kingdom Hearts after this? The nope. new I'm really excited for that aspect in twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five, no doubt. Yeah. I'm very excited for that. But... He, yeah, he was like, Oh, I have a bunch of ideas, but you know I'm also very curious what they're gonna name it. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Part X Key Kai Cross Dumb Yes. Also, the big the big Hero Six world is progressing world progressing well, but mm-hmm. news on that is still down the line. Mm-hmm. They have a show coming out, don't they? 
Big Hero 6 in an animated show. Yeah. Yeah, is that a, a cartoon? I wonder if that's going to play any factors, like characters from it or something like Probably that. Probably not. Yeah. But uh, I definitely want to see that. I want to see that world. Does. I agree. I've, we only know, we only seen the the concept art for it. Those are the three worlds: Tangled, <laughs> Big Hero Six, and Toy Story, and they're done. Lit. Hercules. No. <laughs> sorry, Just trailer. sorry, sorry, Olympus. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the this is confirmed. The number of Disney worlds are less than the amount included in Kingdom Hearts Two, but the mm. density of each world is greater, including gameplay. Yeah. Maybe it's like we don't know how much by how much. Maybe it's by one. Maybe it's by like ten. We don't know. That doesn't discount um <laughs> the original. Maybe worlds. Final Fantasy World like one. Why? Huh? A Final Fantasy World? Yeah. I mean, I mean, they've where, where are these assholes come from? Yeah. <laughs> Radium Garden, <laughs> apparently, which is not a Final Fantasy World. Yeah. That's the original, but um, I mean, obviously, Radium Garden. It's probably gonna be yeah, a place. Yeah, we're gonna see Radiant Guard, and we're gonna. See, I think we're gonna see uh, Daybreak. I'm, I'm very cross. interested to see what Final Fantasy stuff they bring, because mm. you know, Advent Children Cloud was in Kingdom Hearts Two, which is cool. Uh, Zach in Birth by Sleep. I have um, some little, a little tiny tidbit about something Final Fantasy. Oh, earlier. okay. Yeah. Is it about the belts thing? Nope. Okay. Um, so Nomura and the development team are worried that Sephiroth coming back again as a secret boss in Kingdom Hearts 3 would be redundant. So they're they're under oh, no. heavy consideration of including him or not. What do you think? Would it be redundant? Like, from an outside perspective, yes, it is redundant. But that shit is hype. Yeah, and it's the final one, right? Yeah. I think it's a good idea, especially because of that really bad conclusion. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah when Cloud and Sephiroth just, and just jump into the sky and disappear. Like, there has to be, like, a quote-unquote conclusion to that little uh -huh. episode thing. Yeah, and... um, Maybe you team up with Cloud this time. Oh, that'd be hype. Yeah. yeah. More than likely, you just face him. I would love to... I would love him to come back. Hmm. It's not like Darth Vader. <laughs> it's like the final, you know. That'd be hype hmm. in a weird way. You're just on the Death Star. You're about to blow up Destiny Island. You're like, defeat me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Sora's got to fight Darth Vader. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. <laughs> so, um, to end the Kingdom Hearts three related news, mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a I have a little quote from Tetsu Nomura himself. So this is from an interview. Ooh. So I'm gonna read the interviewer's question first. Okay. All right. Wait, can I read it? And then you can be Nomura, or I can be Nomura, and you can be him. All right. I'll, I'll all right. I'll be the guy. Okay. So his name is Yan, I guess. Yan. Yeah. Okay. All right. So zips and belts. Are prevalent in the character design. <laughs> I read those. Is that ones. just because you like the aesthetic? Does it have any meaning behind it? Why does Donald's hat ha have zippers? <laughs> <laughs> Say tastefully, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, no more. Uh, that was my preference back when I first designed the characters, so 15 years ago. At that time, people teased me about zippers and belts and whatnot, and I'm the type of person, if somebody eggs me on, I'm going to do it more. Nowadays, uh, I'm not as conscious about adding them in. I'm not the type of person that would shrink down when people tease me about it. I'm going to fight back. I'm going to I'm gonna go back at it and do it more. So if people led me on saying, oh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is delayed, well, I might even delay it further. Parentheses left. What an asshole. I love it. <laughs> That's great. I love yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, for people who don't play Final Fantasy games or Kingdom Hearts or anything like that, buckles and zippers and, and uh, belts galore for all those char original characters and stuff, even the other ones. He just likes them, man. Mm -hmm. That's great. I, I love that we asked that question. Mm -hmm. I read that today, too, and I laughed about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Just look up a picture of Lulu from uh, Final Fantasy X, and her dress is, like, literally belts. Did she design... Uh, did he design I believe so. I, I, I Don't call me on that, though. But, like... What the hell? Is <laughs> Your thing broke. Hold on. That fits my mic. There we go. Lulu. Oh, he's better. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Literally all belts. Yeah. She's a great character, though. Anyway. Cool. Ha, so that's ha, Kingdom ha, Hearts. Ha, ha. That's a. Ooh, uh, fits this more. There we go. Some great Kingdom Hearts news. Let's have more. Do you, do oh. you think the Kingdom Hearts 3 news was worth the wait? Like the month wait? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, so good. Yeah, a lot of, a lot ah. of deets. Dave, what do you think? Great. 
Thanks, Marty. <laughs> uh, so, other news. We have the first look at the Atari box. Mm. So we have this was announced like a month and a half ago or yeah, two I months remember. ago. Yeah, when Atari was like teasing a new yeah. console. And like, is it like the Ouya? I don't understand. Uh, this? Oh, uh, well, let me hold on. Give me a second. So, at the time. so it, it has. We only have a little basic, very, very basic information about this thing. It has an HDMI plus four USB ports yeah. and an SD port. It plays "quote unquote" classic and "quote unquote" current mm-hmm. games. Whatever well, that yeah. means. The, the wording, like the phrasing that they gave to interviewers, was so ambiguous. Yeah. I have no idea what they meant. It was so PR. It's just like, yeah, we don't really know yet. So, yeah, it plays old games and newer games. It it, it really like cool it one. looks like like it looks good. No, it looks what? like a fucking thing you'd buy at Target for twenty dollars and includes like thirty Atari games. Really, to me, it looks like a cable box. <laughs> it does. It looks. I like it though. It looks sleek. I know, but like, there's no way this thing is not going to be anything but another uh, Ouya. Yeah, it is. It's, I agree. It's probably going to be like an, like they're, Android based. They're better off doing like a uh like an NES, NES classic, yeah, you know, okay. thing going on. It looks really nice. It's not going to go anywhere. I like the wood finish. Yeah, the wood finish. That's yeah. cool. The classic design there. There's another like design it, you know? too. Yeah, and then yeah. they have like that sleek looks like an internet router. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just the back. Yeah. That, that's where all the ports are. But yeah, um interesting. It looks. I, I like. I, whoever designed this console, I think they did a good job. Mm. It looks cool. Um, I was very interested in it as soon as I saw it. Yeah, it's in a bomb. <laughs> Let's be real. It's. We just don't even know what, yeah, don't what know. it is. You don't like to enter the market right now for like con- the console market. It's just like suicide. Ooh, you approved that to yeah. everyone. Like, how are you going to compete? Like, I. I I just hope it's not gonna try to be a fourth platform. I agree. Well, not including PC. They can't, right? The, the, It'd be it's on like it's, it, I can't even fathom that no, decision. There's no way. So. Next year we're gonna have Atari Box, most fucking developed for so, console, no, most most sales. No more is gonna come out and be like PS4, nah, Switch, nah, nah, none of that. Atari Box, Atari baby. Box, Kingdom Hearts Three, Atari Box, exclusive. That would sell copies. <laughs> it would. But yeah, I want to know more about this thing. I want to know. know what, I don't know what it is. Can you show me? So, um, this week with the launch of Splatoon, yeah. Nintendo released their online Switch app. Oh, and yeah. uh, it has a dra- very big drawback. Very big drawback. Um, so you can't uh, use the voice chat. Nope. Um, unless you're on the screen. And you can't like open other apps on yeah on your and phone. your screen like on your phone and like the screen has to be yeah, always so you on. Have to, you, yeah, you have to have your screen on so you can't lock your screen yeah. when this app is open to be in voice chat. It needs mm-hmm. to be active and on the entire time you're playing. And you also need to plug your headphone jack into your phone mm-hmm. to you know to hear your friends because you you know nothing can be done. Yeah, like, attach to the switch. Go on if you have more info. Uh, Is that it? That's it. But um, I guess like mm. what's good about mm. it is that okay, yeah, should... if um, because it kind of makes it seem like if you like if your screen locks, you just disconnect from the chat. But you're just like in some fucking void, <laughs> void of nothing. So like if you go back into the app, you're there. Yeah. I think that's fine. <laughs> At least they got that right. <laughs> <laughs> I, this can be fixed, but I hope, I hope they do. Because this is weird. I'm still like, why is it an app, right? I don't like, I, I can't. Mm. Please defend if you can. <laughs> I just want to know why make it, an, why make voice chat like an app and everything? Is no. the Switch not powerful enough to have voice chat and it's like, if it is, if it isn't, just tell me and I'll accept it. Like, <laughs> Oh. It's just such we'll a never know. backward ass. It's weird. Online play has been on for like oh, 10 years. I don't know, people can just use like Discord or something. I don't know. Right. Well, that defeats the purpose of mobile yeah. gaming. That's, that's very strange. Hopefully uh, they look at the yeah. very 
uh, critis, you know, the, the criticism critical. for it, the critical feedback of it, and uh, they uh, improve it. Yeah. You can only hope. Nintendo. You can only hope. So, Crunchyroll is having a five-day marathon mm -hmm. coming to Twitch for anime. Anime. Obviously, because it's Crunchyroll, right? Mm -hmm. So, they're, they're having over 15 anime series um, they're going to be showing, right? Not yeah. in full, because yeah. it would be longer than five days. Yeah. So, they only announced three so far. They're having Mob Psycho 100 Amazing. streaming on July 27th. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss... Oh. Kobayashi's yeah, Dragon exactly. Maid, yep. also streaming on July 27th, and Yuri, oh. explanation point, on ice. On ice. Okay. On ice? On ice. <laughs> Stro on on ice. ice. <laughs> the Dimidome. <laughs> on the Dimsdale Dimidome? That's right. The Dimidome. On the Dimsdale Dimidome. Uh, <laughs> That's so, streaming on July 28th. Um, Mob Psycho. I don't know anything about Yuri on Ice. Mm -hmm. I hear it's a good show. Do you like... Boys, ice, pretty boys, staying on ice with yeah. good animation. Miss Tobiashi's Dragon Maid is like e kind of etchy, goofiness. I don't know much about it. Mob Psycho 100, I have seen in full uh, from one, the creator of One Punch Man. Uh, I recommend it to you highly. But you have to mm -hmm. see it sometime. One day. Yeah, it's the most strange animation you'll see. It's very uh, stylized. I'm going to put it that way. Much different than One Punch Man. But amazing. Amazing. The animation is still great. The action is fantastic. It's really funny. Watch that. Seriously. If, you, if you've never watched it before, that's a good place to watch it. You can watch mm -hmm. it on, you know, everybody freaks out and probably gives you spoilers on Twitch chat, whatever. Watch it. Good shit. What's one anime that you hope is in the one of the 15 series or 15 plus? I mean, it's going to be newer, I imagine, obviously. Yeah. And I, I assume it has to be on Crunchyroll. <laughs> Man, I've been really, uh, yeah, I've been really uh, slacking with anime lately. Uh -huh. So I'm just gonna go with the only one I've really been watching, and that's My Hero Academia, uh, which has been simulcasting on Crunchyroll. Mm -hmm. So, which means you know, yeah, releases in English and Japanese at the uh, same time. I hope that. I don't know. I asked you, but you don't really watch anime. Do you? I have say one? I'll hope One Punch Man is shown because it's really good. I see One Punch Man. Yeah. On it. Yeah, one punch man. I mean, they got yeah. one of the uh, <laughs> of one shows, you know. Yeah, that's so. true. And it is not as popular as One Punch Man. So, mm -hmm. cool. so next in news, next some time. more Dragon Ball Fighters stuff. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> Pickle, so Piccolo and Krillin, Krillin. Um, in parentheses and trunks was announced for Dragon Ball Fighters um, via V Jump and the Shonen Jump. Uh, nice. Magazines in Japan. So, from uh, the scans. So, sorry. So, the the other day, Bandai Namco put on their Facebook page like official in-game screenshots of Piccolo and Krillin. Yeah. And they look. Mm! Oh, they look. They look crisp. Look at Krillin's eyebrow. Look oh, at that. He looks great. Yeah. And Pickle looks dead this ass. Isn't even so good. This game isn't even done yet. I know. They're like, yeah, it's like ten percent done. done. You know what's awesome? I noticed when watching gameplay, they were fighting at the world tournament stage. Yep. And um, the ground was all like destroyed and stuff when the fight was. Done. I love the particle effects of this game when like someone does a kamehameha mm. and all you see all the wind fall yeah. back. Like it's so Dragon Ball. It's so good. Mm. All right. Also, listen, it looks it, like it says shit. But it right. says five hit. Oh yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> if so, you people don't want yeah. like, if you guys are like, oh, these guys are, all they're gonna do is like gush about this game. Fuck yeah, we are. Until 2018, that's literally all we're gonna talk about. This game's gonna be banging. So, go ahead and strap, strap in. What do you? Strap in, baby. So, um, from the <laughs> magazine scan, so Piccolo can use Hell Zone grenade. Hell Zone grenade. And light grenade. Light grenade. Well, I think Hell's Gr Hell, eh, Hell's own grenade is a uh, his oh, like his, spin his like super move whatever. Whatever. And light call. grenade is a mid range attack. Cool. I think he can also use the Makenko Sapo. Ma <laughs> Yep. Uh, he also special has beam cannon. He also has stretchy arms. Yeah, stretchy arms yep. confirmed. I, yep. Yeah. I, you heard me before. I was like, <laughs> yeah. no stretchy arms. I'm done. I ain't gonna <laughs> no do buy. It. Yeah. Nope. I'm hey, he's, he's I'm boycotting the, the game yeah. if he doesn't have stretchy arms. So Pickle is looking fine. Yeah. Krillin. 
Um, he has the destructo disc, mm-hmm. which are not only unblockable. Yeah, crazy. But he can also toss multiple discs when yep. you press additional buttons. Mm. He's gonna be really interesting to play. He can also throw. Uh, he can also heal his team and himself using sensu beams. Whoa! He like throws them or something. Sensu beams. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Do you think they're gonna give him the solar flare? Or they're gonna give it to TN because you know TN's gonna be in it. It's not like TN's original move. Yeah, but he, yeah. he uses it a lot though. So I agree. I, it's probably I not could, a TN. I could see um, it being TN's. Me too. They need a bit of more moves yeah. for him to be. If you use like the Donut Ray, the Tri Beam, and the uh, Tyokan. Yep. Solar Flare. You know. Uh huh. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I watch Dragon Ball Super. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Sorry. I was. I, I'm sorry. Crown looks I, I'm so good. Sorry. Gosh, also, hey, that's teeth. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Also, <laughs> they announced a uh, new mode called Ooh. Replay Channel. So you could tell um, you got you got squint for this bad boy. Yeah. So in this mode, you'll be able to watch uh, battle eclipse. You know. Oh, okay. And you can also add emoticon <laughs> stamps. Yeah. It says give praise and encouragement using the emotion stamps. If you look, you can see like Cell's face. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the mo- the emotion that? the emoticon uh, stamps seem to be reaction images that can be added to clips. It's like it's like Twitch chat emotes yeah. like spams, but but in like game, Dragon Ball. Awesome. I thought what face is that? Do you, do you know the I, I try to look up uh, Cell screaming, and I got some interesting photos. So I guarantee one of them was him like being disintegrated. Oh, perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, dude, I was watching yeah. Evo. We're watching yeah. them, and uh, there was a Gohan fight. And it was a fucking like comeback moment, and he fucking like goes on the edge of the rain, and he does the fucking father son kind of, huh? And it doesn't kill the guy, but apparently, if you spend another bot like meter, yep, he it does like the, and it yeah. like just shows another animation of him, of go on his dad like yeah, and oh it just God. fucking blasts even larger, and it's just, uh, and, and that game's awesome because when you beat someone you know something to, you know that's a troy but if you beat someone at a different like it remember in budokai yeah when you did something to the, the it, planet but it's always the same one yeah this one is different this one it showed the city like a city and the beam like falling out of like half the city damn in like a giant fucking kai ha and i got like, i'm getting goosebumps just thinking mm-hmm. about it right now it was stunning it looked great and just to see that like can you imagine like playing with friends and everyone's like, hype yeah. it up? And I, I just want to be at someone's house, like having like a friend main tournament. Someone's playing Gohan, and I'm gonna be behind them and just be like, "Do it now!" And everyone's uh-huh. gonna be like, "Oh!" and freak the fuck out. Listen, it's gonna be the greatest game of all time. You have to understand. This. It cannot come out soon enough. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that mode looks cool, especially with the funny emoticon stamps. Yep. Um. So, uh, Trunks was also in the scan. Yeah. Not yet. Yep. <laughs> so Trunks was in scan too, and he util as you can see in the the uh the video gameplay of him. Uh, Trunks utilizes his sword to extend his range and can use his burning attack to hit his opponents from afar. Lit. Buster. Can. I look forward to playing as Trunks. All exclusively. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to be your team of three? We don't know yet. Well, we already had this discussion. Oh, you're right. We uh, did. <laughs> we're gonna have it every week. Damn it! I just want to <laughs> have it every I week. I just want to talk about this game forever. <laughs> so, uh, uh, for this game's online lobby, um, players can walk around as their favorite characters in chibi form. That's cute. They're super cute. Yeah, that's cool. Um. So when you're walking around, you can access quick match, among other modes, and communicate with other players. Um, and battles will take place in the battle stage and chat with other players using Z stamps, whatever that means. I think I see them. Yeah, yeah like, just had a picture of a cell above their head, <laughs> crossing his arms. I'm perfect! That's cute. Where's my chibi... Uh... Uh, Mr. Satan. Oh, he'll be there. In full great. form. My chibi and devil jet man. jetpack and everything. There's no way devil man is. My chibi pilaf. Oh, he already oh, looks fucking. Like hold him. on. He's a, what? Pilaf would be a really. Like in like his it, robot suit. Oh, the pilaf machine? Them? 
Maybe. They want unorthodox characters, and peel off is like really popular. Nah, it's, it's not gonna happen. But that'd be really cool. Sequel. Do you think Broly will be in this game? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> He's the tager of it. He's I gonna know. be like giant grapple babe. Or you know, well, yeah, whatever his beam sound. That's gonna be cool though. In burst limit, um, for the 360 and PS3, the game only went up to uh, the end of Cell, and Broly was still in it. So Broly's look, gonna be in every. Look at Attack of the yeah, Saiyans. Attack of the Saiyans. <laughs> it goes up to the Saiyan saga. <laughs> And Broly's in it. And Broly's in it. <laughs> uh, Bardock would be cool. I, although, I don't know. Yeah, Bardock would be cool in this game. I think I, I talked about him last week, though. I think he's going to be in it because he's super popular in Japan. Mm. I already, man, I already talked about this shit. Go on, let's go. Let's get out of here. People are going <laughs> to not Fist. like us. Release is July 27th for the public on all platforms. Yeah, Doomfist. Is that cool? It is. It's good. David, what do you think? party <laughs> catchphrase we don't have catchphrases no yours is like no <laughs> you're, you're like denying no like, like don't even listen to what we say you're like no anyway uh yeah is that are you excited to play as him i'll play as him i, I, I like answer my question like, Am I excited? You yes. are, are you fucking dead ass excited? Uh, are your balls tingling to I'm, play as Doomfist? I'm still thinking about Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, Doomfist is going to be awesome. I'm definitely going to play him. I'm going to wait a little bit because everybody's going to be playing him. And I don't like mirror matches, so mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes. Um, The Humble Bundle. For Spy Lights this week. We have a, a good Capcom Dead Rising bundle. Along with the Telltale bundle. Yep. Yeah, I feel like Humble Bundles, uh, it's a good... Uh, the De the Capcom one has Devil May Cry and Dead Rising on it. Mostly Dead Rising. And um, the Telltale one is a lot of, a lot of different Telltale games. Including, like, uh, Sam and Matt. You know, the point and click where it's like... Uh, it's like the, the bunny and... Or no, the dog and the bunny, I think, whatever. Like, mm -hmm. those classic ones. So it's not just, like, newer, like, shitty Walking Dead ones, even though they have that. Uh, it's a whole bunch of other ones. So check that out, you know? It's, I like to look at good deals, so it's mm -hmm. good for people. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should do a segment on that. Be like, this week's good deals in gaming. That might be a good segment later on. Anyway. I would agree, but a lot of the deals I see are like, they're just that. They're not like week-long deals. They're yeah. like that day, so it wouldn't matter. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Well, we'll, right. we'll, we'll discuss. We'll, yeah, we'll discuss. We'll, talk, we'll talk about it. Yeah. So, final news story of the day. Yeah. Legendary Pokemon. Finally coming to Pokemon Go on July 22nd. You know what that day is? Tomorrow, Saturday. Holy shit. So on July 22nd, thousands of trainers in Grant Park in Chicago for Pokemon Go Fest and the millions and millions of other... <laughs> <laughs> That's my uh, uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson reference for today. And the millions of others around the world will be working together to unlock in-game bonuses for the entire Pokemon Go community. If they manage to catch enough Pokemon during the Pokemon Go Fest challenge, um, the first legendary Pokemon will be revealed in Grant Park, Chicago. So if the trainers succeed in defeating the legendary Pokemon in like a like a raid kind of mode, they will. Yeah, um, that Pokemon will start appearing in raid battles around the world after oh. Pokemon Go Fest. So keep your eye out for unique legendary eggs appearing at gyms. Um. <laughs> If trainers and their team are able to success, yeah, successfully defeat a legendary raid boss, they'll have the opportunity to catch a legendary Pokemon of their own, and legendaries um, cannot be left to defend gyms. I can, I can see the memes rolling if, uh, you know, they are, they're able to summon the legendary and then they can't beat it, and how Grant Park is going to be like meme city, like the whole world is gonna go against it for like mm. a week. <laughs> They're gonna fucking hate that place. It's gonna be like suddenly like political polls are gonna be like, wow, Chicago is like the worst rated city for some reason. All cause a bunch of nerds are upset. Yep. Nerds rule the world, mm -hmm. apparently. It's that's cool though. Yeah. I don't I don't play it. You don't play it. What about you, David, who who still plays it? We'll never know. Yeah, we'll never know. Yeah, we'll never know. But uh, legendaries are cool. Yeah. It's a cool event too. Brings and people together. I, I it's an, you know it's a good strategy for it to be like a summer thing. Who do you think's gonna be the first legendary? Me too. I'm gonna say Articuno. That's random. <laughs> it's gonna be. Did you uh, watch the trailer? Huh? Did 
Did you watch the, the Zapados? Yeah, the Zapados and no, Lugia. I, no, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fine. Sorry, I'm writing stuff down. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's cool. Over if you play the game, yeah. sweet. All right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not gonna beat this topic. You know, it's a dead horse for me. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. I can't really. I don't have a lot of input on this. Want to hear some upcoming releases? Let's hear some upcoming releases. July 25th, uh-huh. we have Avon Colony for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. We have, finally, the release of Fable Fortune. I've said it, it was going to release one week, like three weeks ago. It did. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fable Fortune coming to Xbox One. We got Pyre for PC yep. and PlayStation 4. We have Super Cloud Built. Super Cloud Built. For PC and PlayStation 4. But, oh. that's not all. Okay. July 28th, we got Super Cloud Built. Super. For Xbox One. Cloud Built. We have Hey, Pikmin. You, Pikmin. For 3DS. <laughs> yep. We have Metopia for 3DS, which I know very little about. <laughs> and Sundered for PC and what, PlayStation Sundered? 4. Sundered. Yeah, Sundered. Okay. Sundered. Okay. Cool. Colby. Mm-hmm. Let's uh let's do a little speedy edition of this. What'd you play this week? Oh shit. <laughs> uh I'll be really speedy with it and just say Final Fantasy twelve. You like it? Yeah. How far uh, are you? I haven't played a new game. Mm, I would just say no. Okay. Uh David and I have been playing Digimon Masters online. Yeah, how is on it? On stream. Yeah. For some reason that what's stream our, has what's, been super what's our, popular. What's our stream? Our stream, uh, yeah. I was gonna play at the end, but our stream, I'll chill us all I want. Is uh, twitch.tv slash keep tapping You can check us out. We've been playing it uh, during the week. Uh, been really popular. We just went into it thinking, man, this game's gonna be really shitty. Was it shitty? No. I'm gonna talk more about it next week because I want I want more. You want, you want I've David only had to two sessions. Yeah, I want David yeah. to be here. Also, I've only had like two sessions with it, and with MMOs, I don't really think that's enough. I kind of want to grind out a little bit more. All I can say is this game is bullshit. To get new digi. I want to talk about next week. <laughs> Fuck it. I've killed so many, like, baby Digimon. Hmm. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Fuck them. Out of context, that's all I'm going to say. Let's, let's, mm-hmm. What, mm-hmm. what have you played? What have you played? So, I've been playing the usual three, but I have, I have something to say about each one. Okay, all right. Let's go. Sorry. So, Duel Links. Great time. Mm-hmm. Um, There's an Arcana event. Okay. Uh, you know the you know the, the oh dude the, with the, 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 the the buzzsaw yeah, dude from Battle the red City. dark magician you yeah. know he's cool he's also really weak oh, I really? keep beating him mm-hmm. but I'm not getting any drops for uh, his special dark magician and it's upsetting me greatly yep um that event goes till the uh, what's today the 28th or 26th or something it says 26th and after that I think Merrick comes Yami cool. Merrick and I'm looking forward to that we'll probably have a video of that yep. um. And stuff. So, um, playing more Dokkan Battle. Um, it's fun. There's a every uh couple months. There's a world tournament, and you cool. and like you face other players. You, it's like you face other people, but you don't like you, you face, face their teams. You face their teams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fire Emblem did that. Yeah, and um, it's fun. Like um, currently uh, I have like a nine win streak. Wow. You get more. Um, you get better rewards yeah. when you lose. The, the highest streak. The is. highest reward is twenty wins. So I'm playing on the lowest difficulty, uh. so I can get the twenty <laughs> wins. And uh, well, it's just gonna be like low tier. No, no wins, right? No. Oh, the twenty one wins. That's it. Doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I can, but Wasn't... there's like a, there's points you get, yeah. and like, um, to get like you have to like be in a certain rank to get certain awards at the, by the end of the tournament. It's a five day tournament. So only yeah. two days so far. So I'm I'm be grinding that throughout the week. I hate myself. Um, yeah, that's evident. <laughs> and uh, also been playing Friday the Thirteenth. Surprise! The only uh, three games I've been playing for the rest of my life. Listen, so, David and I haven't been like any better. We've been really bad when it comes to playing new games. So I have something to say about Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. Fucking. So I'm playing last night, right? Yeah. And so the Xbox One version is notorious because it hasn't been patched yet. Yeah. And the other versions have been patched, but the Xbox One, there's some weird certification process, and like, it's like the worst. It's the worst version, basically, yeah. because it has a lot of issues, including matchmaking glitches, etc., crashes, whatever. It's a pain in the ass. I really love the game. I'm gonna be honest, it's great. Yeah. But like, I just wish it was better. Optimized. <laughs> you know? Yeah, optimized. And fucking so, 
There, there's one of the maps, Higgin Haven, and what Haven? Higgins. Higgins Haven, Haven. Right. And there's this part where you can do this, where you rep- you face your back to a wall in the cabin, right, the top floor, and you can repeatedly crouch, and you you basically go into the back wall. Oh, so you're the face of the wall. Yeah. Okay. And there's this like secret room, like an unfinished room. Whoa. And you can just camp there. Uh. And Jason obviously can't fucking get there. Fuck. It's a pain in the ass, and um, there's no like report system. Yeah. They're trying to implement that, but for the time being, you can um, you can what do you call it? You can you have to have video proof, but like Xbox, you can DVR at any point. Yeah. So it works out. So I was playing as Jason, and I killed everybody. I was like, "Where's that last person? You uh, better not be fucking camping there." And sure enough, sure enough, he's there. Like, and I'm and like I'm I'm trying to like hit my axe through the wall, and I hit him actually a couple times. Oh, but he hit me a couple times, and I'm just like, "Fuck this!" So I start recording. Yeah, good. And I I press you can press up on the D pad and show up like show the list of players. Yeah, and I'm like making it sure it's like. To show his gamer tag and stuff, and I sent an email to uh, the support team. Good, good. Because that's how you're able to. Because uh, they're encouraging people to report these people. Yeah. Um, so they can get banned. Rightfully so, yeah. And there's already been like over like 500 bans. Good, at least they're active on yeah. that. Yeah. So I, I reported that guy. So fuck that guy. And then I played a game after that. I escaped. Okay. And so after you escape, you can spectate people. Yeah. And um, I was uh, sure enough. Sure enough, there's some guy camping. I'm like, fuck this guy too. A, I'm yeah. recording this guy. I, I have the power. Yeah. So I recorded it, and I escaped. Right. So I'm just chilling, and the game crashed. Fuck. So I didn't get any XP, but I reported this fucker. Hey, one thing after another. Hopefully gets banned. That game, is, that game is like freaking <laughs> Mad Max Fury Road of yeah. just problems. But it's a ton of fun, especially with friends. That's what matters. No matter what we say, if your game sucks, yeah. doesn't whatever. I definitely as long as you have got fun. my forty bucks worth. That's at it. this point. Yeah, but once like they lot. fix everything, I'll be like, oh! and be like, you know? I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to play Nightmare on Elm Street. The game. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. That but, it? Oh, that's it. That's it. Kobe, what do you recommend? What do I recommend? Man. I'm going to recommend... I'm going to recommend something, too, after that. Because David's not here, Whoa, I want to hey, recommend what? something, too. Listen, you'll see why. Just What go... about the sanctity of this Listen. segment? All right, fine. I'll, I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Fine. Whatever I'll Listen. trust you. I recommend... Uh, I could recommend anything to you people. Yeah. Anything at all. I've been thinking about this whole this all day. I, I couldn't come up with one. So, <laughs> I would recommend... Airheads, <laughs> they're out of control, dude. I fucking lo- I had airheads so good. on Tuesday. Like, no, no, it was like a week ago. Like on stream, <laughs> just like eating an airhead. I was like, oh, this blue raspberry fucking. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna specifically recommend blue raspberry airhead. Damn, that's so good. It's just like, I feel my my teeth rot in but the best way. Mm. Man, I just the I best kind I, of I really like good taffy and airheads are not good taffy it's just like in a lead of its enough. own it's just good <laughs> garbage you know yeah. i mean it's really good i, I recommend blue airheads in a uh, light of recent events i'm going uh, to recommend made, my favorite album made me feel like a fucking cock bag <laughs> airheads somebody died this week <laughs> fuck <laughs> Go, yeah, you know, fine. We're gonna end it on you know. What's your favorite your album? Let's go. I'm recommending favorite album, Meteora. Meteora, okay. Lincoln Park. Mm-hmm. Check it out, especially if you have teenage angst. Mm-hmm. You'll love it. Mm-hmm. That's that's it. That's what a lot of people would agree. Yeah. Uh, I would recommend Minutes to Midnight mm. or Living Things. I agree. Great albums. I'm very torn on them. Kind of leaning more on minutes no really yeah oh, actually damn after i really listened to him i'm like I, that I was awning falling and, one by one by one you know what i'm saying that felt like like a really good sound for them night like, in loading things so just waiting for the end is one of my favorite songs ever hmm. i'm sad 
Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'll, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, three recommendations. Fucking. I'm gonna give you a fourth. Oh, Reese's Pieces. Dude, they're yo, fucking no, great. You wait. They're fucking great. Now dude. no one can eat Reese's Pieces <laughs> no, until you eat recommend, that. and you cannot recommend it next week. I wasn't planning on it. My 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 mic. Fix fell. your mic. Thank you for watching the uh, Keep Tapping Arts podcast, episode 28 on July 21st. Where can you find us? You can find us on all of our social medias on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Google Play Music, iTunes. You can search Keep Tapping X. Everything is Keep Tapping X with no G. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Blake, stop pretending to masturbate. And, I'll think uh, about it. <laughs> have a great night.